All right, hi. So it is Thursday, so normally I'd call this like a Spotlight Thursday or something. But um, if you watched my last video from earlier this week, I did a comparison with a unique product and this charcoal mask. And it, I guess for some people it was funny because I, it was really painful to pull off this, this mask that I was trying against Unique. So tune into that one. That one's kind of funny. It's on Facebook. Um, but today we're going to be doing the other item that my a client has sent me. So I'm kind of excited to try it. Um, for those of you that know me, um, you know that I do facials. So I'm trying another product. It's a gold mask with a different company. So uh, for those that don't, my name is Jennifer Hofer and I run Lakeside Spa and Beauty. So I started to do this YouTube thing because I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Just, you know, kind of the weird stuff I come up with. Um, I just want to tell you guys, these lips are pretty amazing. I bought one of the new hotties. They actually have color in them. The other one is just like uh, a clear gloss with a very light pink. I had to grab this one because it has shimmer on it and I love sparkles. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just crazy. And it actually, it tingles and it does plump your lips pretty nice. But moving on to what we're trying today. So right away when I see this symbol, I think Lotus, which is a brand, but this isn't a Lotus brand. It's peel off mask, gold collagen, whitening, anti-wrinkle. Um, a revolutionary mask will slip effortlessly onto the face and leave you with a lasting, we don't know. So if you can read that, I guess you can't. So I don't know what they were trying to say there. Um, I'm looking at the ingredients and it's a little bit concerning because about halfway through, they start naming a lot of parabens, carcinogens. There's fragrance in it. Fragrance usually is chemical. You don't really necessarily need that when you're doing a facial mask. So not exactly the best start but um yeah it's manufactured in china and uh yeah so let's get started and let's put the sucker on i don't know exactly how long it has to stay on so i might have to pause my video it has to stay on for 15 to 20 minutes so i'm gonna apply it pause the video and then kind of come back to you after the times so i am brought my facial brush and i'm going to start applying Ooh, this it feels like syrup it's like really really thick nice and cool though it has like this cooling effect on it which is quite nice uh, the gold mask that I currently use for my clients um, it does have that cooling effect too I don't think I would apply this to somebody with sensitive skin it has a tingle effect that I can already feel and um, I have oily skin, so usually it's a little bit tougher. But yeah, I don't know what that tingling is. It doesn't have peppermint or anything in it. And I think I'm going to have to chuck this brush when I'm done because I think it's going to ruin it. But you can kind of see the application process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to cover my face with this. I'm going to let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then I will be back with the result and um, kind of my thoughts. So hold tight. Alrighty, I'm back. So um, it's really tight. So that's a good thing. That means it's, it is working, it's pulling and everything like that. It has been 20 minutes. So I wanted to let it sit like the full, full length. Uh, I can feel that it is time to come off. Um, from the picture on here, you would think it would be a little bit darker, but it's pretty common for clear masks to look like this, so you see the shine and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, I can't peel it off. It says peel off. So I didn't even check before I came to you guys, sorry. Does that work? Oh, there's a bit there. But the other is just, I, I guess it's still wet, so maybe it can sit on your face a little longer. Ow. Ah. Don't go close to your eyes, guys. Oh. Whew. It definitely grabs. 
This reminds me of the little masks that my mom used to get when I was small. They were like clear like this. They'd be like, oh, oh my God. There is nothing relaxing about this. Uh, there's no way I would ever put this on a customer. Oh, this is almost worse than the, um, the carbon mask I had. Or charcoal, I should say, sorry. And it's actually extremely... I hope I have no customers coming soon. This is really hard to get off. And like, it, see, it's like very um, gooey. Alright, so, I'm not going to make you watch this the whole time. Um, it's very dry, so that's not something you want from a gold mask. And a gold mask will never do that. And I'm referring to a 24 karat gold mask. None of them leave your skin dry. They leave it very hydrated and your skin feels phenomenal. So um, I am going to go wash my face and hopefully this comes off. But that is the peel off mask. So I'd like to thank my customer Annie for sending this to me. She is all the way in the States. And um, yeah, thank you. This has been fun to try. But my opinion, don't buy it. <laughs> It's uh, It hurts your skin when you pull on it, and it doesn't really leave your skin feeling rejuvenated like a, like a gold mask really should. Um, usually when you put collagen in your skin, you, you, you feel it, right? You feel really refreshed and, and hydrated, and I don't know. I just don't feel that with this, and I'm really scared about this eye area here. So that is my little bit of, um, what is it called? A do-it-yourself mask kind of at home mask maybe definitely not a professional version <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you for tuning in and we will talk next time